All right, guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now uh, we are going to solve this problem from chapter 14, Hebler Dynamics. And the problem says that the spring has stiffness k of 50 Newton per meter and an unstretched length of 0 0.3 meters. So let's say that the unstretched length is LU, that is 0 0.3 meters. And further it is said that if it is attached to the 2 kg smooth collar, so this collar has a weight of 2 kgs. And it is said that the collar is released from rest at A. So the velocity at point A, this is that point A at the origin, the velocity of the collar is equal to 0. It is said that determine the speed of the collar when theta equals to 60 degree. When this theta is equal to 60 degree, this collar is moving in this direction or uh, this is the top view of this uh, whole system, right? So the collar is moving in this direction. So if the theta is 60 degrees, we are required to determine the speed. So we have to find the speed when theta equals to 60 degree. Let's say that when this collar travels 60 degree, at that instant, let's say this point is, this location is represented by point B. So we have to find the velocity at point B. And it is said that the motion occurs in the horizontal plane, neglect the size of the collar. So to find the velocity at this state B or point B, we have to apply the law of conservation of energy. So we can say that the, the kinetic energy at point A or state A plus the potential energies at point A equals to the kinetic energy at state B plus the uh, potential energies at state B. Now the kinetic energy at point A is 0 since the velocity is 0, this is 0 and the potential energies are of two types. One is the elastic potential energy and the other one is the gravitational potential energy. So for gravitational potential energy, our datum line is this x axis is or we can say that the datum line is the y axis. So since this collar is moving in the x y plane, so the gravitational potential energy is zero at A if we consider this xy plane as a datum line. So there is no vertical motion uh, from the datum line. So the gravitational potential energy at point A is zero. And the elastic potential energy at point A will be uh, one divided by two K, the spring constant, which is 50. And let's say that the stretchness in the spring at A is xA. So x a square and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So the kinetic energy at point B will be 1 divided by 2 and mass. So the mass is 2 kgs, so 2 uh, into V B square and plus the elastic potential energy at point B. Again, uh, since the collar is moving in the horizontal, pl uh, horizontal plane and there is no movement in the in the z direction. So again, the gravitational potential energy uh, at state B, if this is that state B will also be zero. So we will have only the elastic potential energy since we have the spring. So the elastic potential energy at state B will be one divided by two. Again, that spring constant 50. And now the stretch in the spring at B. So that is x B square. So we have this equation like this. Now we need to find, to find this uh, Vb, we need to have this xA and xB in this equation. So xA is the initial change in length or the initial stretch in the spring. So the initial stretch in the spring will be, let's say SA. So at x, uh, when the collar is at A, the length of the spring will be 4 meters. How it is 4 meters since the radius of this semicircle is 2 meters. So from here, the, uh, this is the center of this semicircle. So this length is 2 meters. So this is also 2 meters. So from here to here, this length is 4 meters. So this is the length of the spring when and the collar is at A. So the stretch in the spring will be that uh, 4 minus the unstretched length. So that is 4 minus the unstretched length. So this is equal to 3.7 meters. So the initial, when the collar is at A, uh, the, the change in the length from the unstretched length of the spring is 3.7 meters. Similarly, uh, XB, 
So, let us say that this point is C. So, x b will be equal to this b c length, the length of the spring when it is at b minus the unstretched length that is 0 0.3. So, now we need to find this b c and we are given that this is 60. Now, we know this c a in length. So, if I draw a perpendicular from this point a until here, if this is perpendicular like this and this is 4 meters and this is 60 degree then b c length is 4 cos of 60. So, x b is we can write that this is b c is 4 cos of 60 minus 0 0.3. So, 4 cos of 60 minus 0 0.3. So, this will be the stretch in the spring when the color is at b. So, this is 1.7 meters. So, now we can put this x a and x b in this equation. So, this is 50 divided by 2 is 25 and x a is 3.7 square and this is equal to this 2 will cancel out. So, this will be v b square and this is again uh, 50 divided by 225 and x b is 1.7 square. So, from this equation we can write that v b square equals to if I bring this term to this side of equation. So, this is 25 into 3.7 square minus 25 into 1.7 square. This is 25 into 3.7 square minus 25 into 1.7 square. So, this gives me 270. So, this is Vb square. So, Vb square equals to 270 and if we take the square root, so that will give us Vb. So, 270 square root. So, this is 16.43. So, we be equals to 16.43 meter per second. So, now when the color is at B, the velocity is 16.43 meter per second which was required. I hope you people will find this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning. Also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.